today I have two budget friendly thrift flips so be sure that you keep watching. Alright for the first one I'm going to use this sad looking lazy Susan. I don't know what this is. It's not actually wood, but it's made to look like wood. It's more like a particle board, but it was stained and scuffed and nicked up. It had chunks missing out of it. It was just in a terrible state. But basically, the bones of it, the shape of it, are still in really good condition. So I'm taking my sanding block from Dollar Tree and just sanding this all down attempting to get as smooth a surface as I can on here. So my idea was to use my chalk paint to cover up everything. I'll show you how that works out. Starts off pretty strong, looking pretty good. I'm only going over the top. I'm not going to do the base of it or the bottom underside of it. You see those spots? Yeah, it kept bleeding through. I don't know if there were oil spots or what they were, but this wasn't a cutting board, so I'm not sure what that was. Just kept coming through. So I took it outside and used some spray paint, a high gloss, and just sprayed it. And it did cover it up a little bit better good enough for me to do what I have to do next. Now, to take the glossy appearance away, I went back over it with some more of this chalk paint. This is Rust-Oleum and linen white. Go back over this and let it dry. Then I'm going to take this framed artwork and I'm just going to pop that picture out. I'm going to use one of my Pyrex bowls to choose my shape. I'm going to put that on top of my sign and then just with my pencil I'm going to make a circle that I can cut out. I tried to push it a little bit away from the bowl so that I could get a bigger circle around there. I used a pencil instead of a pen so I wouldn't have any marks and I could clean it up. Now I'm just trimming right to the outside of that line that I drew again so it would be a little bit bigger. You can see my little paper line there. And so that's how it's going to look. And I'm just going back over with my pencil and erasing the little pencil marks. So now we have to put this down. And I noticed on the picture it has some distressing. So I'm going to do a little distressing of my own here with a little bit of this Waverly Antique Wax and a chip brush that I got from Dollar Tree. Now distressing items like this is a little bit new to me. I don't usually go this heavy handed, but I wanted to give it a try. I mean, it's just paint, right? You can always go back over it with some white if it's too much. Just smudging in a little bit of it with my fingers decide where I want to put it. So I'm going to use my crafter spray glue, lightly spray it toward the center on the top, and then gently put this down where it looks like it might be close to center. And this, this works very nicely. It doesn't leave any lumps and bumps underneath. Just going to smooth it out a little bit with this little I don't even know what this little piece of plastic is. I've had it for a while. I think it's a pumpkin scraper. Isn't it silly what we can use to craft with? Okay, so I'm going back on the top to kind of blend my colors a little bit. Little light bit of that antiquing wax and I'm just kind of knocking it off there on that piece of cardboard. And then I'm going back around here. My confidence is up a little bit. I'm adding a little bit heavier distressing. And I like it. I think it turned out great. Looks like chippy wood. So that's my Lazy Susan. It matches the rest of my lemon decor. Be sure you subscribe and check out all the rest of the lemon DIYs and crafts that I've done so far. The 
Okay, project number two. This is a cottage frame floral art piece. This frame is gorgeous as it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. There you go. This is spray paint. It is a Rust-Oleum flat white. I did two coats and let it dry. Now I'm going to use my antiquing wax. Same thing, gonna use my little chip brush bounce it around in there a little bit and kind of wipe a little bit of it off, bounce a little off. So the insert in this frame is sort of a, it's like a braid. It's a different texture and it's not wood, it's something else, almost like a jute braid or a piece of rope braid. And I really wanted to bring that back out. So I'm going over that a little bit heavier handed. Now I'm going to use some of this Gorilla Glue and hot glue to attach my picture to the frame. Just gonna add some in little different sections. Sorry, I'm out of the camera range there, but you get the idea. Same thing here is what I did on top. Now I'm gonna use my hot glue, Scorilla glue in between. I'm going to center and place that back down and just using some clamps from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to let this sit and dry. I left this for a while while I did my other crafts. Then I'm going to come back to it and we're going to make a hanger for the back. So I'm just double knotting two pieces of this jute cord. Very easy. Put it on the back and add some hot glue. These were very simple, quick DIYs, little thrift flips, and I hope that you enjoyed them. Little something extra to add to my cottage style. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!